Hello, this is Celeste from Something New Jewelry Cleaner and I would like to show you today how to use your new product. When you purchased it, it looks something like this and you have your, eight, uh, you have your spray refill bottle and you have your small kit. At home, you're just going to use the faucet. You no, don't need a bowl of water. But what we do first, I'm going to clean a ring for you. You just take a little bit of the cream. You see how little bit of cream we use? We don't need very much. You just brush the cream on and then you rub it on with the paper towel. Now it's very important after you use the cream that you rub it because it removes the oxidation from the metal alloy in the gold, the tarnish from the silver, and it polishes and shines your platinum, brass, and copper. And that's what you're not getting off of there with your regular cleaners. So that's why we use the cream. Now it's the heavy duty cleaning, so you use it maybe once or twice a month on the items you use most. When you notice that uh, the metal is dull or the stones are very cloudy or dirty, and you just brush the cream front and back of the stones, rinse it off under the faucet, and then we set it in our little brightener container. Now you can set it in here to soak. You could spray it on, that's why you have the spray bottle, or you can get a little decorator container on the counter in the bathroom and keep it in there if you'd like. And then I just take it out. Diamonds, if you wanted to soak them a little longer, you could. You just brush it off again, get all the film off of the back of your stone, and then we're going to rinse it off again. We're going to dry it. And look how fast and easy and beautiful that is. Now, I get lots of questions. What kinds of things can I use this on? Can I use it on costume jewelry? Absolutely. On your costume jewelry, for example, this is just a little premier bracelet. You just put it in the pink. You don't use the cream on the costume jewelry. You don't need to. You just put it in the, in the, uh, the pink. Give it a little brush. Front and back of the stones. Rinse it off. And look at how beautiful that is. Now another question I get, can you use it on things like James Avery? Brighton jewelry, things that have silver in them but aren't necessarily uh, sterling silver. Yes, you can. On a larger item like this, I just get my fingers wet and I rub a little bit of the cream on there. Just rub it on and rub it off with the plain old paper towel. But look at how beautifully this cleans it up. It doesn't remove any kind of finishes that they put on the Zapata jewelry or on the Brighton. You can use it on your David Yearman, your fashion jewelry, or your high-end designer jewelry. But look at the difference. See how that cleans that up so fast? Again, we rinse it off. And the reason we're rinsing it off is we don't want to get our solution here all full of the cream and get it dirty real quick. And you just use the solution over and over again. You don't throw it away each time. Now, if it's a large item, you can just spray the pink on it. But look at how fast that cleans that up. This is sterling silver, and it has pearls in it. Everyone asks me, oh, surely you can't clean opals and pearls with your product. But because it's all natural, you can use it on everything. Diamonds, opals, emeralds, pearls, sapphires, rubies, lapis, coral, turquoise, everything. It's safe for everything. The gentleman who developed this product over 30 years ago developed it to clean opals and pearls. And because it's safe for opals and pearls, it's safe for everything. Look at how fast and easy it cleaned up that sterling. Then we rinse it under the faucet. Now you'll notice that this pearl is glued into the setting. Any of your jewelry that's glued into the setting, it's a water-soluble glue. So you don't sto soak it for extended periods because it will loosen the glue. So you just dip it and clean it like we're doing here. But look at the difference. How beautiful and how fast and easy you can clean it up. Now the other question I get is how do you clean your larger items like your silver candlesticks, tea services? It's so easy. But I will tell you, I found with silver plated items <clears throat> like your Rogers and Smith silverware or 
like your silver trays, your silver tea sets, I found that um, it's better to use a, a old t-shirt cut up because the wood grain is in the paper towel and on the Rogers and Smith silver plated items, you can scratch the item. So I just rub the cream on, rub it off with that old t-shirt and look how fast and easy it cleans it up. Now this is a very old, old spoon. And in your intricate fleur-de-lis pattern, it just gets in there so quickly, so fast and easy. Then I rinse it off and then on a larger item, we just spray a little bit of the pink. Everyone asks me, why do I have to use the pink? Well, it gives it the sparkle afterwards. So if you use just the cream, you're only getting part of the benefit. So then just rub it off and you're ready to go. You can do it very quickly. Now I'm going to share with you one of my favorite ways to use the jewelry cleaner that you probably would never think of. I hate it when the screen of my cell phone gets dirty. All you have to do is rub a little bit of the pink on there or spray it on, rub it off with a towel, and it's the best thing you'll ever use to clean the screen of your cell phone. But also remember that the, your spray brightener is the best eyeglass cleaner that you're ever gonna use. It's safe for plastic and tinted lenses, and it cleans the frames where you get makeup, hairspray, and body oils. So use it on your eyeglasses as well. Now you can see how fast and easy it is to use your something new jewelry cleaner. Anytime you need any assistance, we have a 1-800 number where you can get more information if you have any questions about anything that you want to clean. But love it, use it, and we'll see you next year when you need some more.